Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. And in today's video, I'm going to begin taking a look at more general Monster Hunter basics. I've been through all 14 weapons for you guys, so there are tutorials for all of them on the channel. But today, I want to take a look at one of the new features in Monster Hunter, mounting monsters. See, in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, the addition of improved climbing and aerial attacks isn't just so you can pull off flashy mid-air attacks. It actually has a purpose. See, if you jump off a ledge and successfully land a mid-air attack on a monster, and that can be done with any weapon ranged on melee, then you have a chance to mount it. Once in this stance, you can then stab the back of the monster, and if you fill up the blue bar, then you'll leap off, the monster will roll over, and you are then presented with a very welcome opening to wail on the monster and do some serious damage. But it's not just as simple as jumping on the back of the monster and spamming X. Notice that monster icon that's chasing your bar? That is the monster fighting back. And if the monster head catches up to the end of your blue bar before you reach the end of the meter, it'll turn the tables and throw you off instead, leaving you vulnerable for a few seconds. But thankfully, the game has what I'm going to call a traffic light system in place. See, that monster head icon changes colour, and there are three colours you need to know about. Green is where it will usually begin. When it's green, it means go, and you can press X repeatedly to stab the monster and increase the blue bar. Then red, you guessed it, means stop. If you continue to stab the monster while the icon is red, it'll fight back and it'll catch up to your blue bar much more quickly. And again, if it overtakes you, it'll throw you off and leave you vulnerable. However, just stopping when it goes red isn't enough. See, even if you're not attacking, the red bar still moves up at a faster rate. So, this is where your R button comes in. Holding R when the icon is red will turn it orange, and instead you'll enter this bucking bronco phase. R is basically to hold on while the monster tries to kick you off. You'll notice that while holding R, the monster icon progresses more slowly, which in turn gives you more room to breathe. And then, after the monster's finished trying to shake you off, the icon will go back to being green and you can begin slicing away again. So in short, this is how you'll do it. You land on a monster and while the icon is green, you spam X. The second it goes red, you stop pressing X and you hold R, which will then turn the icon orange. Then, once it returns to green, you resume spamming X. Rinse and repeat, and you should win most of these battles. I say most because at times, you'll climb on top and the monster icon will already be pretty far up the bar, and that's usually if you do it quite early on, or if you've recently mounted it. However, once the monster's weaker, it tips the scales in your favour, meaning that more often than not, when you jump on the back of it, the bar's already halfway filled. Either way, whether it's nearly empty or nearly full, the principle remains the same. Also, in the event that you see things not going your way, instead of sitting there and letting the monster throw you off, which in turn makes you vulnerable, instead, if you press B, you'll jump off prematurely, and that way you can avoid being thrown. Now, there is one more very important thing I need to tell you before this video is done, and this is to do with when you're hunting as a group. If you mount a monster and your teammates continue to attack it, then if the monster flinches, it'll throw you off. That, again, leaves you vulnerable, and more importantly, you lose that potential opening to dish out all that damage especially if you have four hunters. Four of you wailing on a monster that's down is big damage. So, the long and short of it is, if you see your teammate riding a monster, stop attacking, get back and wait. If they successfully complete the bar, you'll have an opening and you can then all rush in as a team and deal all that damage. Now, as I said at the start, all weapon types can mount monsters, even ranged ones, as they all have some sort of jump attack. By far the most efficient one is the Insect Glaive, given that it has the Pole Vault, which you can use to launch yourself in the air no matter where you are. And also, believe it or not, the other most effective one is the Lance, as your charge attack allows you to jump, and if you attack while jumping, you too can mount the monster from anywhere. But, if you're not using one of those weapons, then simply pay attention to your surroundings. Ledges are great places to jump from, so are cliffs, and if you're climbing a wall, you can even press A to jump off and then land a jump attack from there. So as you can see, no matter what weapon you're using, there are plenty of options. And that, my friends, brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and hit that thumbs up button, and also be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Arax Gaming Nation for daily gaming videos and much more Monster Hunter coverage. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.